Expert Emily Speck is joining us uh, live from the Kennedy Space Center. And Emily, I got to tell you, I've been getting tweets today. A lot of people wanting to know after Wednesday's scrub, uh, why do they select this particular time? I mean, you think, wouldn't it be better to do it in the morning when we don't have all those storms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really great, great question. I've been getting that as well. So it's we're thinking a lot about the weather here in Florida because we have these afternoon storms. But there's a lot, a lot of factors that go into that decision. We're not only talking about the weather, but we're talking about what's going on on the space station. You know, you can have up to four vehicles docked there at one time from three different countries. So you got to consider traffic, and then you also have to consider the astronauts on the space station are working and living there, so they got to sleep. So they don't want to mess with the astronaut sleep schedule. So there's a lot more than weather going on here when you talk about that launch window. That makes sense. We need Trooper Steve to give a traffic update on going <laughs> up to the space station. We are expecting a decision very soon on fueling, and it's kind of mm -hmm. a big step in the process. What goes into making that decision? Um, so basically, they're going to take a look at the weather. They're going to check with the crew, which just said they're go for launch. And at this point, they're going to arm the emergency escape system. So if anything were to go wrong between now and through launch, that they would get the astronauts out of there. So at this point, they've said, OK, you're good to start fueling. They've armed that system and, and now they're fueling.